What is going on everybody, my name's Leaky Tatsman and this video is basically just a regular commentary and the topic of conversation is going to be regarding what could potentially be the best year ever for gaming and I'm not using that phrase as just a throwaway phase, I truly believe that it could be. Now in my opinion, probably the best year so far for gaming has been 2004, that was the year that San Andreas and Halo 2 were released amongst a slew of other amazing games. And the reason that I started thinking about this and just doing this commentary in general, I was recently just looking over all of the games that are scheduled for 2013 and it just got me thinking that this list is arguably the best that I've ever seen. And I'll give you a quick rundown, I'll give you an explanation of why I've come to this conclusion and I'm sure many of you will agree with me that the potential is just sky high with this list of games. A quick rundown of all the sequels that are coming, basically. Direct or spin-off. So you've got GTA 5, Speaks for Itself, Bioshock Infinite, Bioshock's Amazing, and Infinite seems to be taking it in a new direction, which still looks incredibly good. Elder Scrolls Online has the potential to be a WoW killer. Not a fan of MMOs myself but it's still a very big game. Dead Space 3 looks to be rectifying a lot of the issues people had with the second game. Sly Cooper's Thieves in Time. Sly Cooper's amazing, I love it. Gears of War Judgment. Gears is another big franchise. Dead Island Riptide. That's another game where the previews and the information are looking largely positive. Tomb Raider. That is a game that has looked incredible at the last two E3s. And the reboot just seems to be working very well for the franchise, so I'm looking forward to that one. God of War Ascension, again a massive franchise, I'm not the biggest God of War fan, but it's still a huge game to come out. Dragon Age 3 Inquisition, I absolutely adore Dragon Age, I can't wait for the third game. And from the sounds of it, Bioware seemed to be taking on board a lot of the criticism that was aimed at the second game, so that could really turn out to be something great. Crisis 3 looks incredibly good, mixing the best aspects of the first two games. Splinter Cell Blacklist again looks incredible. I'm not loving the return to the Conviction style of gameplay compared to the older ones but Conviction was still a great game in its own right and I'm sure Blacklist will be even better. And also Lightning Returns Final Fantasy 13, so the third game in that trilogy. Huge Final Fantasy fan, not a massive Final Fantasy 13 fan but again this is a massive game and those are just the sequels so they're all series that we know can deliver some great stuff and with the possible exception of a couple of those games we can kind of assume that they are going to be very good and in the case of Grand Theft Auto 5 we can guess that it's going to be almost revolutionary and outside of that we have some new IPs that look to be taking some bold new directions I'm talking about Watch Dogs which looked phenomenal at E3 that was one of my games of the show combining open world gameplay with stealth gameplay with action that definitely has the potential to be a AAA franchise. The Last of Us, another game that looks like it could just be a franchise on the very, very top tier. Naughty Dog just have been phenomenal this generation, so I have no doubt in my mind that The Last of Us is going to be superb. There's also the new game from Bungie to consider, Destiny. Although little is known about the game, we do know that Bungie are incredibly gifted developers. And although Activision are bankrolling the whole thing, they don't really have an impact on the development side of things, so I have no doubt that Bungie will deliver the goods on this game. We might see something that's even more special than Halo, due to the fact that they've not really got Microsoft breathing down their necks. And another new IP, Beyond Two Souls, which is kind of a spiritual successor to Heavy Rain. A bit of a Marmite type game. I'm aware that Heavy Rain was kind of hit and miss for a lot of people, but it's one of those games that contributes towards this whole games as art argument, because I mean the initial trailer was pretty stunning to be honest. And the convergence of gameplay with movie type elements, it's not really my cup of tea, but it's definitely something that I can understand why people very much like it. So those are the games of 2013. You can probably see why I'm so excited for 2013 in general. That cluster of games just has so much potential. And outside of those games, there's a lot to consider. The Wii U is very much in its infancy at the moment. There have been very few official games announced for it. You always get the launch window titles announced and then around E3 time, we'll start to see a bunch of games announced for the holiday window of 2013. So I think we could see some really big games for the Wii U. Nintendo have remained quite coy on the software side of things since they just basically have new Super Mario Brothers and Pikmin 3 announced for the console so I think we can expect to see a pretty big game in the holiday season. 
from Nintendo, not to mention third parties. And beyond that even further, in all likelihood we will see the next Xbox released in 2013 and the whole glut of games that will come with that at launch. And this year my wallet has taken an absolute pounding and 2012 by and large hasn't been a great year for gaming. It's not been a bad year by any means, but the amount of truly superb releases has been few and far between. With 2013 I just think the sky is the limit and as always I'd just love to hear what you guys think. What is your most anticipated game of 2013? Mine personally is Grand Theft Auto 5. Outside of that, since I'm assuming that will be a lot of people's answer, I'm going to say Dragon Age 3. I think that has the potential to be an absolute killer app. And what do you think about the potential of 2013 in general? Do you think it does have the potential to be the best gaming year ever? And if it does have that potential, do you think it actually will be? Do you think those games will live up to the hype that they're currently getting? Because a lot of these games are getting hyped quite significantly, even the likes of Watch Dogs and The Last of Us, where they're totally new IPs and they're kind of being thrown in the deep end, so... It's sink or swim time for a lot of these, and I'd be really interested just to hear whether you think these franchises will actually do what they set out to. So I'll end the video on that note. I know this topic's kind of out of the blue, but I was just thinking about it before and I thought it would be an interesting topic to discuss. So a huge thank you for watching. If you could like, I'd appreciate that a lot. Thanks again and goodbye.